Uh, we want to understand what happened, what the current situation on the ground is. It's already a fragile context. We're very concerned that the developments in the last 48 hours um, have fragilized it even more. Uh, clearly, you know, our sympathies to the president's family, particularly his wife who's still um, hospitalized. We need a lot more information, but it's, it's just it's very worrisome about the state of Haiti. Estamos por enviar 150 mil dosis de vacunas a Haití, que es un pueblo pobre, muy necesitado de la ayuda internacional. The Secretary General condemned in the strongest terms the assassination of President jo Jovenel Moise of, the, of Haiti. The perpetrators of this crime must be brought to justice. The Secretary General extends his deepest condolences to the people and government of Haiti and the family of the late president. It is still the view of the United States uh, that elections uh, this year should proceed. We know that free and fair elections are the democratic path towards ending Haiti's irregular uh, and prolonged rule by decree uh, and restoring uh, its parliament, which as of now has lapsed. Canada has been and will continue to be a close friend to the Haitian people, there to support, there to help, there as a partner. We've had uh, a number of difficult years, including politically. Canada has continued to be there for them and we will continue. <laughs> IT의 안정을 위해 IT 정부 및 국제 사회와 계속 협조해 나갈 것입니다. The biggest stories, the moment they happen from around the globe. Subscribe to Bloomberg Quick Take now for insight in an instant.